Hi, my name is Mrs. Hastings, and I'm here to talk about a creative project that we are going to do today. We are going to make paint blot common nouns. Do you know what a common noun is? That's right. A common noun is a person, place, or thing. There are actually two types of nouns, common nouns and proper nouns. The difference being that common nouns are the name for a group of people, places, or things, whereas proper nouns identify as one person, place, or thing. An example of a common noun would be cat, whereas a proper noun is Milo the cat. Your paint blot common noun will use paint to create an image that you come up with after looking at the way the paint takes shape. Only you can see what it's meant to be. Before we get started, I have a quick question for everybody. Has anyone ever gone outside and just looked into the sky and found different shapes and images in the clouds? You have? That's great. If you haven't, I challenge you to go outside on a clear day, look into the sky as the clouds pass by, and try to find different shapes and images in them. If you get stuck seeing a common noun in your painting, think of cloud gazing as an exercise of your mind. Okay, let's go over our supplies. You will need a piece of paper. Any type of paper will do. Some examples are notebook paper, newspaper, wrapping paper, or sketch paper. Next, you will need a couple different colors of paint, and it's okay if you're not using the same paint I am. You could use house paint, watercolor, tempera, or what I'm using today, which is acrylic. Or you could even use mud from your own backyard. Just mix a little bit of dirt and water. Using mud could be a little messy, so just make sure if you choose to use this medium, to use a little bit at a time. Then you will need a dark pen or marker, a small paintbrush or plastic utensils, a cup of water, and a couple paper towels, or one towel that is okay to get dirty. But most importantly, bring your imagination. First thing you're going to do is take your paper and fold it in half and use your hand to gently press along the middle to make a crease. You'll use your tool to put a small amount of paint on one side of the paper. Clean your tool and then add two more colors. Whatever design you put on your paper using your tool will transfer when you fold the paper. It'll become a mirror image. Here are a couple examples of common nouns that I saw from finished works. I saw a bee in this painting and a dragon alien here. Lastly, I saw a sassy giraffe here after your painting is dry, draw the common noun you see on the painting you just made with a dark pen or marker. When you've drawn your common noun, use your small paintbrush and dip it into a dark paint color to outline your drawing with the paint. Then let it dry. Here's a demonstration of me outlining my common noun that I saw with the dark paint. We're not done yet. Make sure to clean your supplies and your area. Then, guess what? You just made a totally original, super fantastical piece of art. Congratulations. I hope you had fun.